Okay, I'm going to show you how to do precise, best possible way Agnihotra. I've been doing Agnihotra for over 40 years, so I've had some experience with it. A lot of people have problem when they learn through the internet or from someone uh, at a workshop uh, to get the fire going as best as possible, to not make it smoky, to light it up properly, to get the rice exact, to get the the, the, the whole feeling exact, the whole completeness. So I'm going to attempt to make it as clear as possible so you'll get it. Okay, first things first, you have your pyramid. This is, of course, an old pyramid. This is what it looks like when you get it in your other new one. Uh, first things first, I put small broken pieces at the very bottom. I already set mine up. As you can see here, can you see that clearly? Good. And why do I do that? Because when the ghee falls to the bottom, it doesn't just bubble and boil. It actually helps the fire to even be better. Okay. Then most important thing with the cow dung, we've got the best cow dung if you get it from us because we have Homer cows and Homer cow dung. The most important thing is to stabilize the cow dung so that air is around the cow dung while it's burning. If it's not stable, this is what I do, of course other people do it differently as you will see uh, in a moment when they're doing the exact time, uh, at the exact time. Uh, if you don't stabilize your cow dung, then it will just fall, you know, for example like that on top of each other and what happens? It, the fire goes out because there's no oxygen around and then you get a lot of smoke. And you can't touch it after you said after the you've chanted the mantra after the moment of sunset the exact moment of sunset do not start playing around with the fire if you do the energy is disturbed and you're not going to have the effect so just let it smoke if you're outside it doesn't matter if you're inside it's a problem but we have solved that problem with this it's a copper lid that you just it's, it has many purposes, but if it starts smoking heavily and you're inside a building because it's freezing cold outside or wet or raining, just slide that on and the smoke is held inside. Okay, next thing is you've got your cow dung first piece is beautifully stabilized. Then you light your stick. What is this stick for? This is your match. Because I can't put, I've got the best matches from Sweden, but I can't put them inside because they're chemical. You can't put any chemical in there. So be careful if you're using a candle, don't bring it close to the pyramid because it might, you know, drops of it might fall into the pyramid. If you do use a candle, keep it a long way away, light it up from the candle, say from here. Do not use cigarette lighters because it's very easy for tiny drops of mineral oil to fall into the pyramid. You don't see them, they're microscopic and they will disturb and, you know, destroy your fire. Okay? So we use matches. Uh, this is going to be lit up at the exact time, like three, well, three minutes before the exact time. I usually light up. Some people light up earlier. Now, I also like to add a bit more, not, not as much as some people, but I like to make sometimes if I've got lots of dung, which I do because I'm living in a beautiful home of farm community. I like to make a sort of a UFO type. Put some ghee, of course, on the dry cow dung. I've already done that. so. You can put as much as you like, but the more ghee you put on, the longer the fire will burn, that's all. And of course, the more ghee you have to use. So I'm ready now. I've got my stick in the middle, ready to light up. I've got my UFO set up, ready to be burning nicely. Now I've got to get the rice. The rice. I have it in a nice copper container. You can have it in a little jar like this. Just keep it closed so there's no dirt and dust gets into it. The same with the ghee. Keep the ghee closed after you finish with it so that no dirt, no dust, no insects, no cats, no dogs, nothing gets into the ghee, okay? The ghee has to be pure. And the same with the rice. Now I take two portions of rice, as much as my fingers can carry. Some people take more, some people take less. And then I check the rice for any broken pieces. There's a broken piece, so I'll put that out of the way. Okay, now I've got perfect pieces of rice. So I use the uh, 
the round ecological rice. There's many varieties of ecological rice. I like to use the round one because it, it's less broken pieces and it's easy for me to uh, sort it. Of course, the rice, you put ghee on the rice, but I'll be doing that when I'm lighting the okay. fire. Also, a good thing to do is, you know, of course, if it's freezing cold and you're outside, the snow on the ground might be a bit difficult, but do your best. Take off your shoes. Why? Because you're respecting the fire. It's a respect to the fire. Of course, you want to learn the mantra, which is in this, if you don't have a CD, like if you have a CD, it's great because it teaches you the mantra. If you don't have a CD, you can get it from the internet. I'm just going to go over the... Uh, evening mantra because that's what we're doing we're doing sunset agni hotra okay so best thing though i would advise you is to learn the mantra well before you're doing your first fire practice it practice it as many times as you possibly can remember after the swaha you pray put the rice and only once if it sticks to your fingers just clean that off at the end Agnaye Swaha Agnaye Idam Namama Praja Pataye Swaha Praja Pataye Idam Namama You need this as well. This is the Agni Hotra Badi. This is great because it gives you, it's free for Androids and iPhones, whatever. You can uh, get the exact location, it will find your exact location, it will give you the exact of the second moment so that you don't miss it and if you get it right on target like bullseye to the second like we do with thanks to this German program then you will have the hundred percent effect and there's a huge difference between the ash of a exactly at the exact time Agni Hotra fire with the exact mantra and a fire done with all the same ingredients but without the mantra and at the wrong time huge difference and the difference is mainly in the ash not just in the atmosphere because of course in the atmosphere not everybody knows what's going on in the atmosphere but you can easily test the ash now of course another good point is if you want to have lots of ash then you use more cow dung okay and if you want to use the ash for medicine then the best thing to do is get a book on medicine Monica Cox book on medicine and she'll show you in the book how exactly to use the ash for medicine if you are you making ash for medicine I would highly recommend that you wash the area that you're going to do Agni Hotra, wash yourself and try and you know keep yourself clean, clean clothes, etc. Then the ash will be much more powerful as medicine. Otherwise, the ash you can still use as medicine, like the ash that we're doing now. It, well, it just won't be that fully powerful. And remember, once you finish with the ghee, then you close it up. Okay, that's it. That's a simple how simple Agni Hotra is. Two minutes, 37 seconds. It's good to make sure that the stick is really well burning before you put it in, otherwise it will go out. So remember, up until the moment of saying, singing the mantra, which will now be in one minute and 37 seconds, you can add ghee to the fire, you can add cow dung, you can uh, move the cow dung around, but after that moment, nothing. You're not allowed to, if you do have to disturb the fire because it's smoking, then of course you're gonna break the effect. It's gonna damage the cycle.